All right, welcome, 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 everybody. My name is Ebag, and today we're gonna go ahead and do a new playthrough on the game called Kenshi. This is a free roaming squad based RPG focusing on open end sandbox gameplay features rather than a linear story. You know, I can become a traitor, a thief, a rebel, a warlord, an adventurer, a farmer, a slave, or just food for the cannibals. And during this, I'll have to research new equipment and craft new gear. So it's kind of, in my opinion, like a, just an open-ended sandbox game, survival crafting uh, game, which, you know, it turns out has some, you know, squad-based RPG elements in it. So it does sound pretty interesting, and, you know, it has you know, gotten a lot of buzz lately, some pretty good reviews. So I decided I will check it out and see what it is has to offer so let's go ahead and jump in here um let's start a new game let's see choose your beginning the wanderer the wandering trader uh, let's see play style rpg you are just a lone wanderer with nothing just but a few coins okay and then we got the wandering trader seeking to make your fortune you spent the last of your savings on a backpack the Holy Sword, a down and out and wanted criminal scavenging the battlefield, you find something interesting. Cannibal Hunters, warning you will be attacked immediately upon game start, not recommended for the first time play. Okay, we'll stay away from that. Um, the Hive Exile, you have been exiled from your hive for not loving the queen enough, sent out into the wilds with no food or equipment. Okay, son of a captain. Your father was a respected captain in the United States Army. The slaves can't get into a cage straight away to avoid a beating. You're just another slave. Okay, rock bottom. You hit absolute rock bottom. You are alone, unarmed, naked, and hungry. Lost in the middle of a harsh desert, teeming with slavers, and you just lost an arm. Good luck. Ooh, huh. Empire Citizen, a simple citizen of the United Cities, you lost your job in your house at a realm of a noble lord, holy nation citizen, oh wow, a simple citizen of the holy nation, you live in relative safe safety as long as you show, okay, the homeless and hungry drifter, guy with the dog. A homeless, hungry drifter rescues an abandoned puppy. It seems pretty useless. Maybe he will just eat it. Hmm. The Freedom Seekers. This is a real-time strategy play style. Fed up with the stifled city life and tanks as you gather and band to head out and find and found your own home base. Nobodies. A group of five nobodies with nothing to their name ready to go out and do something about it. Let's do that. Oh, the Wanderer has a thousand. Yeah, <laughs> easy. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's give it an easy playthrough, right? Because I have no idea what it is I'm doing. So let's. I think this will be a, a good start to kind of jump in and get in and see what the game is all about, the mechanics, what to do, all that fun jazz. So let's do it. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ooh, where it is? There we go. I had a. All right, so nice. We get a character creator here. Okay. Okay, okay. Look at my ribs. Oh my gosh. For someone that big to have his ribs be showing, huh? Alright, what we got? Human skeleton. Oh wow. A robot. Um a hive. An alien looking creature. A check. Oh, that's kinda cool. Um, okay, that's the human again. Um hmm. I'll just go with the human. We got Subrace, Scorchlander, Greenlander, uh, K. 
Okay. Go with the Scorchlander. We'll be a male. Close. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. I see here. We get... Uh, what does that change? Oh, we get minus farming, cooking... All right, let's just do a normal guy then. I don't want I don't know really what I'm doing. I don't want to get too many negatives to me. Uh idle stance. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is when I'm just idling. This is how I stand. Yeah. All right. Let's do I like this. I like the arms crossed. Where to go? Yeah. Skin tone. Go ahead and do it, man. We got. Oh wow, it's just a shades. Okay. No real pale. Let's give it like a normal. There we go. Height. Real tall. Real short. Real tall. Real short. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going about somewhere in the middle. I think. Somewhere like right there. That looks good. Uh, I want to be kind of. I don't want to be like a slinky, but I do want some little bit of bulkiness, but not too much. That looks good. What else do we have? Um, posture. Oh, whoa! What is happening there? Okay. Um, that doesn't seem normal at all. Ugh. So the arms do not go in very well when they're folded. Okay. Well, I think I'll just do a normal posture. <laughs> Shoulder set. High, low. Do like a... Not too high, not too low. Like that. My neck. Burp, 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 burp. Hey, hey. Mm. Do something like that. Leg length. Man, you can make him even more taller. Man, you can make a giant in this. Just do the same as my height, just keep them proportioned, shoulders, yeah, let's get some nice big old broad shoulders, arm bulkiness, Rawr! yeah, alright, not too much meat, let's just do something like that, and then we got hands, we got big old hands, little bitty hands, big old hands. Whoa. That's crazy. All right, let's do that. Stomach, bring that. Oh yeah, we got like that comic book style here. Here we go. Superheroes. Skinny little waist. Let's go like there. Looks good. Oh, wow. And we got some hips, too. Let's do my hips and bring those in a little bit. There we go. Looking good. Now, leg bulking is raw. Give him, let's get a little bulky. And this is... Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. I'm looking good. I'm gonna bring that waist out just a little bit. I think it was a little too skinny. There we go. Or the stomach, I mean. Yeah, that looks better. Nice. Alright, what else do we have here? Feet. Big ol' feet. I guess I'll just go with like a smaller size. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Now we have my face. 
Oh, wow, we got quite a bit of uh, options here. I like this. All right, let me do the hair first, and that way I can kind of go off of that. What we got here? I'm going to go see so start at, oh, my gosh. Where is the beginning? I want to start at number one. Actually, okay, let's just do this. It started me at the end. Let's start here. Take a look here. We got that one. Ooh, nice. Got some spikies going. Some long. Ooh, some more spikies. Okay. Oh, yes. We got a spike mohawk. Kind of like an elven look there. Mohawk. Okay. Like a Viking style there. Oh, yeah. Buzzed. Got a ponytail. Some shaggy short long hair. There we go. There's some shaggy hair. Uh, okay. Ooh, there we go. Spiky shaggy hair. All right, let's get it. There you go. Nine, nine. Oh, that's some that's some messy hair right there. It's a hobo. They call it the hobo look. Yeah. That's not bad. Oh, looks like we got a a hawk. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go with where'd it go? This right here. We got a beard. Oh, yes, Ray. Hello. Oh, wow. There we go. Then we got like a, a dwarven beard style now. All right. He just got like a short, like, oh. There we go, something like that. That looks okay. Let's see, what else we have? Whoa! I might just go with the stubbles. A little patchy. Yeah, let's just go with the. Doubles here. Now, uh, hair color. I think I like the brown. Oh, wow, you can. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's super bright. Go with some blue hair. Like a almost like a midnight blue. Washed out. There we go. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Alright, now we can work on the face. So we got what is this? So there's that, that, and that. Guess we'll just stick with that. Ooh, head size, okay. Kinda like that, or we're kinda of where it's at. I'm gonna do like a skinny wide face. Do something like that, and then we got a neck. The neck width. Yeah, it's pretty in-depth. We're gonna spend the whole video just building the character. Zoom out? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, 
something like that. I got a jaw. Go. <laughs> Jaw bones. Woo! Whoa! Okay. Um, let's see. Nose width. Okay, nice nose length. Do like the character creator so far, it's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know the little pig face? Just do a normal... My brow. Oh, I'm surprised. Hmm. Yeah. What are you looking at, huh? It's always stern. Er, yeah. Mm. Let's go with something like that. Okay. We got a brow tilt. Woo! Huh? It's always sad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to leave that right there and zero. I don't know. That's a... Narrow, just looking. Um, where'd that go? I'm hard to see from that angle. Oh no. Cool. I think I already did this one, yeah, and then eyes high. Do it. There we go. Eyes size. Awesome, there we go. I think I look great. Yeah. Got a stick. Cool. Looks good to me. Let's do it. There are other characters whose appearance have been changed. Oh. I see. So we got multiple characters. All right. Well, I'm not going to do this for all of them. So I'm just going to random. Oh, I just messed up mine, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that as me. I'm the leader of this pang. And everyone else here. Let's just get some random. Oh, yes. You have G Jesus with me? Yeah, that might be good. Who's this dude? All right. That seems good for him. Uh, all right, here we go. We got a hmm. Super skinny.
네. 엄마, no, give me some good. 오, 와. 오, 노. 아, 레스 두 some edit. Where is the head? Yeah, we are. They all hips, but we need to do the waist a little smaller. <laughs> okay. Interesting. The hips look kind of funky. I think I like that. Let's just bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna give. Some more bulkiness. Ah, there we go. They need usually they're a little bit more. And the shoulders are not as big. All right, let's see that one. Randomize. All right, let's just keep doing that. All right, that works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looks great. All right, we're good. Nice, here we are. Border zone. Ah, oh, I didn't get to change my name. I forgot to change my name. Nameless. What does that mean? It's Skinner, Wish. Yeah. All right, we're in this. So what do we do now? How do I move? All right, cool. So I get to grab them. Basic controls. You can move the camera. Got it. Um... This shows you selections, current state, static, statistics, other basic amounts over each one. The characters only need food to survive in this world, or you'll starve, and you can grow food by hunting or steal it. Okay. What do I do? There is no linear story or mission to guide you in Kenshi. Be a trader, a thief, a bounty hunter, a farmer, or even a warlord. You'll need to explore the world and find your own adventure. You discover your first town. Towns are perfect for stocking up on supplies and selling loot. You can cash in your loot. You'll need to find a store. Hold Alt key to show nearby shop signs. Oh man, all those other things had other tips. I just blew right through those. Great. Be wary of entering private buildings. Residents of often don't like trespassing. You find out whether the building is marked public or private by selecting the building. Cool. All right. Boom. So if we had the the alt key, empty rum bottle. Oh, so there's loot. We're in a town here, I guess. What happens if we go here? Skinner, that's his name. I should have forgot to name him. Can we get in there? Can I take this stuff? Can we get in there? Uh, 
Oh yeah, we can. Taking all this. I don't know what I really need that for. What is this? Security unlocked. Open to public, private. Door is closed. All right, let's go in. No, I open that. Oh, okay. Hold Alt key to pick a lock. Hold down Alt key to pick the lock. I am. Oh. Come on, someone get that. Can someone pick that? No, we're just going to be in here. Oh, we got it. What we got in here? A unique, it's a book. What do we do with this? What happened? What was that? You have stolen goods in your inventory? Ooh. Uh, you just stolen from someone. Be careful when selling stolen goods to traders. You might just find yourself in trouble with the law. When you talk to a trader or initiate the trader screen, hover over a stolen item to check your chances of fencing. Okay. Your best chance of selling stolen goods is selling to a trader from another town or faction or find a thief in one of the towns. Okay. So, kidoki. Um stealing chance 100%. Book high freeze Vorla gives his opinion on what is this? Just a book, huh? I don't want that. I mean, this is worth quite a bit. I want to take that. I'm going to take that. All right, let's get out of here before we get caught. There's a ranch, dried meat, raw meat. There's actually a bunch of stuff in here. Cup wrench. Might need that. Let's do the dried meat. Eight dried meat. <laughs> What's up in here? Nothing. It's a busted up town. What are we going to do here? Jobs, range, if enabled, then the character will range attack. Jobs, this is disabled when the character won't do any of jobs. Okay. Okay, so this is what you can set them to. I got you. So if you want to sneak, here's their individual stats. Okay. Oh, wow, they got health per each limb. Section of the body. Cool. Pretty hungry. We got a bar. Is this one dead? It is. So who do I know? Okay. I can select on that. Put this on me. We got pants. Who's this guy? Your chest is the process of healing. Your stats will be negatively effective. He has pretty strong attack. Okay, he's pretty strong. We're we're negative too, so we don't want to mess with that person. 
We won't mess with that person at all. Here's outside of town. Looks like they killed a bunch of people out here. We're gonna loot all their stuff. Ooh. Yeah, let's loot all this. All right, who doesn't have what? You put that on. Might do something, I don't know. What does it do? Uh, it's the only chain, I'm just stealing it. <laughs> uh, resistance, cut resistance, 80%. Okay, coverage, head, right arm. Might as well take it, it's just laying there. There's a bunch of people laying here. And we could take that too. Make some money. <laughs> cool. We got. Whoa. Yeah, a bunch of people died out here. What's going on there? Oh, it looks like he's trying to crawl. Oh, here we go. Stuff sells for a lot, actually. Yeah, you keep that. We can collect this. Put that there. Then we can get their weapons. I don't know. I feel like I should just take a... Out of... Oh... I can just take all this stuff and be able to sell it. Um, cool. There's a we're leaving town now. All right, where are we going to go? So, there wasn't really much in town. Town's pretty jacked up. There's, bunch, there's something over there. And the bar's over there. Maybe check out the bar real quick. <laughs> we just had a massive battle over here. Look at this dude just crawling. He's just trying to get away. See what's going on in here real quick. Hello. Greetings, customer. Uh, let's trade. Stolen goods, no problem. Okay, so we can sell this for this much. All right, 26. Did we just make some money? We did. I'm going to go back and get all that stuff. I'm just going to take all this. Sell it to everybody. And we sell that too. I don't even know what this does. Sells for a lot. What is that? Toothpick? Oh, wow. That's worth a lot of money. And was that a sword? Katana? Crossbow. Okay. Got some weapons here. Blunt weapon class. Oh, yeah. This is been, what is this? Building material. Iron plates. Used for building machinery. Or, uh, or for further replacements. Okay. 
Intra what is this? Re oh, blueprint needs research bench level two. Oh, wow. You need any food? Meat wrap. That's a lot too. All right. So the little money I have is apparently not a lot. Who else can we talk? Can we talk to him? Need yourself a gunner? I promise you, I got good eyes. Eyes of a hawk. Been man manning turrets since before I sprouted. How? Maybe how much? Pay me once, 600 cats, and I'll follow you. Oh, 6,000. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, maybe another time. Okay, so I could probably... Okay, so this is going to get me caught. Who's this? You had you like rum, Drifter. It's okay, I guess. Okay, come on. Don't be coy with me. Everybody loves rum. Used to brew my own rum back when we had the distillery. Best rum I called it one glass of the stuff and hell breaks loose. One guy gouged his own eyeball, eyeballs out with a fork after three glasses of it. It's great stuff. But all good things come to an end. I got bust, busted by the guards, so take this rare chance to hire yourself an expert brewer traveler. I'll make sure you never have to face a bandit or gutter or a crazy priest sober ever again. No deal. So you can hire people. What? Mercenary captain. I'm looking to hire some bodyguards. I need some mercenaries to guard my outposts. Never mind. Oh, per day. Oh, oh no thanks. I'm broke. It's up here. Man, I should have renamed. I wish I could have renamed me. Okay. Get back down there. How do you get back down there? Let's go, team. All right, we're done. We checked out the bar. Let's go out this way. See what we got going on here. Where can we go out in this mess? There's some over there. Check that out. We're traveling and we're starving. Great. Okay, well, maybe we'll find something. There's really nothing out here. The Wall, that's his name, The Wall. Man, he's way over there. He is fast. Hmm. Where is this building? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a bar. It's just a bar way out here, huh? What is this thing? Power output, wind. Okay, so there's just a... Can't do anything with it. What do you have? Bunch of good stuff. Pole arm. What is that? Bolts. Water. This is a barrel water. 22. It's not much. I could buy that. I don't know what I really need. Ooh, here we go. What's this? How do we tack this? Status window. Oh, wow. Huh, I don't know if I should even try to do that. Let's see. What are these things? Attack is 19, dexterity 21. Hmm. 
base oh okay base hit chance is 19 percent wow and what are we six is that negative six percent we we can't even do anything first of all i don't even know how to attack What else do we have here? We need to find something to eat or something. Build, we can build stuff. Buildings can build gates and walls. When building walls, you need to be careful not to place them facing inside out. The arrows you see show the outside facing direction. You can use the and buttons to rotate before. Oh, you can use this and that, okay. <laughs> As with other buildings, you can only place them when you glow green, once you're happy. Left click to set it down to finish the link. Right click. Building. Welcome to building mode. First select a building you want to construct from the panel. Hint building a small shack will allow you to build a research bench inside. With this, with this you can learn and unlock new tech. Choose where to place a building on the terrain. If the building shows red, there is an obstruction. You cannot place it. If blue, you're too close to another town. If green, you're good to go. To rotate the position of the building, okay. Select squad members on right click the construction to begin adding materials they have. If they have them, okay. Construction will much be much depending on the number of people who are assigned and their engineering skill stats. Camp bed, camp fire. Produces dried meat. Anywhere in the wild, okay. Camp bed. Building, small shack. Woo, we're too close to another building. I need five building material for that. So this is material closet, cause a sleeping bag. This doesn't need anything. Lighting, or that's farming. Whoa. Crop yield. Okay, lights, torch. Mining, stone mining. Base of stone mine, they are hard, hard work with the amount of resources you get out of it, most dependent on how many workers you can throw at it. Stone processing, tech. Small research bench. Interesting. Cool. So we can build a base in this. That's pretty neat. Pretty neato. All right. What else can I do? Getting hungry. I need to find something else to kill. It's very empty. Can't go up. I can go up there. We're just wandering right now. <clears throat> we're just wandering around, not knowing where we're going. Run speed. Go aimless. Oh, it's over here. It looks like something died over here. 
All right, so they can, so we can speed it up, huh? Oh yeah, we can. We. I'll take that. This is more dead people. Oh yes. He had a weapon. And boots. Alright, hold on. You keep the stick and I'm giving me that sword. I'm giving Skinner the sword. Have it. Oh. It's too far. Stolen from Hungry Bandit Leader. Attack bonus minus five. Defense bonus oh, plus three. Ew. Why is it minus five? What just happened? Oh, we're getting attacked here. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to get out of here. Run, everybody. Run. Run. Get, get, go, go, go. There's too many. Oh my gosh, really? They, they just all came out of nowhere. They're not going to leave us alone, are they? Oh my gosh. Oh no, come on, it isn't a key fun. <laughs> oh no. No, just keep running. <laughs> We're done. There's too many of them, they won't leave us alone. Okay, so you just can't outrun them. There's just nowhere, they just don't stop chasing you. Well, that's kind of lame. Oh, get back to there. Maybe we'll get back over here. Come on. Oh, they're not going to make it. Come on, Skinner. Come on, Wall. What's that? There's some stuff over there. Come on, keep coming. Oh, man, he is fast. Go, go inside, go inside. Go inside. Oh, just go inside. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's not good. You need to get out of here. Let them take care of it. They're still trying to kill me. Ha! <laughs> All right, there we go. What are you doing? Oh, he died. What now? Um, you've been knocked out. If seriously wounded and unconscious status will change, dying. And the character won't get back up until healed by another character. If you don't get first aid in time, you will eventually die. Even after healing a character, you'll will, will need time to recover before remaining conscious. Bad injuries, bad injuries will in, enter the character into recovery coma until their visuals have improved. Getting Kato may seem like a failure, but remember, we learn best from our failures. Your toughness and defense stats will be improved each time you are Kato. This will increase your KO recovery threshold over time. Okay. Um. Yeah, but there's no one here. So what do we what do we do now? Yeah, 
You can have conscious characters carry KO characters to safety. Right hold, click on the KO'd character and select pick up from the. Okay. Oh, they're legitly taking the bodies out. Oh, wow. They just. Oh, man. Oh, wow. They looted him. <laughs> and they're taking they just threw Skinner outside they looted all the bodies and then now they're throwing them in outside that's crazy they took all their good stuff oh man to help KO character recover their wounds more quickly you can carry them to bed look at that they're just throwing them out here. Or are they looting them? No, they're just throwing the bodies out here. Look at that. That's hilarious. They're just throwing them outside the bar. Oh, use spacebar to pause the action and give you some time to think and plan the next step. Okay, that would have been good to know. When you're outnumbered, it may be best to jump ship and flee. If you choose to flee, right-click on the terrain to move your character. Tip, make sure you have your character selected. Yeah, I did, but they don't actually... They didn't stop. If you do choose to stand and fight, select the squad members. Hold right-click on the target enemy and select target. Okay. You can select more specific combat modes from the right side of the menu block. Passive, chase, taunt. Too much damage can result in KO. Look at all these bodies. Whoa, okay. Alright, so can I use this? How do I use this? Probably can't. How do I get back up? I mean, they're all knocked out. I just gotta wait? The other character will need a first aid kit in your inventory. Hold and right click the target, then select first aid. You just know I can't do it. He's unconscious. And I'm dying. From the menu, or simply right click the heal icon over the injured person. Yeah, he's, uh. I can't do that. Because they're knocked out. And they're dying. Get up! Wake up! Alternately, you can click the medic button from the right side. Command menu. Medic. Yeah. The all areas of the health bars show bandage health. Over time, they will slowly heal back to a healthy green. All body parts are each affected in their own way. Your head, chest, and stomach are your vitals. If any of them will be fall below zero, you will pass out. And if you reach negative 100, then you'll die. So, yeah, okay. So he's about to die. If any of your limbs fall below zero, you won't be able to fight or walk properly. You can use a splint kit or broken limbs to speed up recovery. Wow, this is crazy. The blood stat shows how rapidly you are losing blood. Blood is slowly recovering over time, but if it drops to zero, you'll pass out. After using a first aid kit to bandage your wounds, sleeping in a bed will help you fully recover more quickly. You can either build your own beds or camp beds or stay at a bar and town for a fee. Oh, Kaduki.
So what happens now? So we just got to speed this up. I believe... Oh, we're losing them. They're dead. Yeah, we're done. I don't. This is it. I, they won't get up. Yeah, that's it. Now what happens? <laughs> is it? Uh huh. Uh, so it's, we're just done now, huh? Interesting. There's like no game over. After all your characters die, there's no game over? Hmm. Huh, now. Where did it last say? Where was this? I don't know what was what. Let me see. This was. Let's see. Let's load this and see where this was. Oh man, this game has a huge learning curve in it. Let's see where this last say. Where were we? Way over here. Okay. Whoa! 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 Not too... We didn't really do much, so... I'll just pick up from here. <laughs> Alright, let's go back here. Who's this guy? He just kind of searched them all, huh? He's practically almost dead. Who is this? A starving bandit? How do I? So I want to know. How do we attack? Um, building mode tools. Toggle game editor. Uh, is there really no way to attack? Selection. Hmm. No. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. Resume. I want to kill this guy. How do we attack him? Squad management. This is the map. Whole passenger house time. Sneak. Hmm. Guess we just can't, huh? Well, all right. How to do bounties, how to escape prison. You're injured, uh, what do I do? Tens, you base control. Hungry, but your first. Da, 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 da. Cool. I guess I just can't attack him. 
I guess it's the only way to tag if they're actually enemies. Okay, all right. Well, that's my first attempt at playing this game called Kenshi. Um, we had to go ahead and reload it. We died. Everyone died. Um, so, yeah, this thing, game is definitely kind of brutal, and it has a huge learning cur curve. So, um, but yeah, I'm uh, curious to see what else is this game has to offer. We're going to go ahead and try to venture out a little further. We definitely got to be a little careful we can't really just run out there <laughs> aimlessly we gotta keep an eye on our surroundings because getting in that big old battle messed us up so yeah we'll go ahead and explore some more on episode two see what we can do see if we can get some uh food some gears i don't know we'll see what we can do you can kind of do whatever you really want in this game as this basically stays um become whatever you want so um we'll see we'll see what the what we have uh what we want to do down the line but yeah so stay tuned for episode two but for now that is that and until next time i'll talk to you all later